Welcome back to another After Work Special. My name is Garrett and this is Mojo Manufacturing. So to back up a little bit here, we're stepping away from my Fiesta from now, Ford Fiesta ST, that's the one that I made the short throw shifter for. So I'm testing that at the moment. Uh, I was going to leave it on for a couple weeks, maybe a week or two, just to make sure it's not going to explode the car, you yeah, know, I don't know. So I was working on my Ford 460, 460 cubic inch motor for my Fox body Mustang and I need a new oil filter adapter for this engine that I got. So this is uh, where the oil filter screws onto uh, as opposed to what it was before. I can't remember what it was now, but I'm making this adapter that fits inside the engine and then it allows you to screw the oil filter on. So I wanted to make this out of steel obviously as opposed to aluminum because that's it just needs to be steel. So this is going to be my first test with actual thread milling. I mean, I've used the thread mills before on these shifters right here, these little grooves. Not too big a deal though. Uh, I had to get a new thread mill to make the, the bigger pitch threads. This pitch on the big side is one and one sixteenth of an inch and 12 threads per inch. Super odd threads per inch. That's okay though. And then the flip side of that, which is the oil filter side, is 3 quarter 16. So it's 3 quarter round and 16 threads per inch. Needed a new thread mill for that. Got it. Got the, got the material. Now we're ready to start going. So we're finally going to cut some steel. This is an inch and a quarter round bar stock. It was 12 inches long. Got it off Amazon well through Amazon but it was from online metal supply 1018 hot rolled and I already cut a piece off and this is it right here so I got these soft jaws out and these are the ones that I cut the piston style shifter knob on so I want to mill a V right here and right here so this I can set that in there and it'll so I can basically just grip it and it's going to be about a half inch Half inch deep? Yeah, half inch deep. The side we are about to machine is supposed to look something like this. So this will be the one and one sixteenth of an inch with 12 threads per inch right here. And it'll be radius on the inside just like that. Well, supposed to be. But we'll, we'll test that out. I'm going to use the radius end mill as well. After the first cuts on the mill with steel, you can see these little little brown things. I just faced this off. It was maybe an eighth of an inch deep, maybe 0.1 inches deep. So it's not, it wasn't terribly bad. And it started sparking at the end. And this is only a high speed steel mill. And it's three eighths. And I totally roasted it. I mean, you can see the burn marks right there. And that, uh, that's probably not good. <laughs> and it probably didn't help that I was going both ways. I was climb milling, then conventional milling. So I know you always want to climb mill on a CNC machine, so I will probably just stick with climb milling when I do steel. So I would say that's successful. It started getting a little iffy at the end. The drill did not like it. It started going good and then it got that deep and just stopped. So we're going to try that out. That is a quarter inch end mill and we're just going to take some light passes with her. So this is high speed steel right here. Four flute, three eighths inch end mill. It did not like it. It just welded her right up. And you can see, I mean, it was going good, going good, and then it didn't like it anymore. <clears throat> All right, we are now back at it using the quarter inch end mill this time instead of three eighths. First time thread milling and it's on steel. Got everything cut out, chamfered this outside edge right here and 
the quarter inch end mill didn't do too bad. It started getting a little chattery at the end, but nothing as bad as it's been before. I mean, it was a lot better than things that I've seen before, so no big deal. Let's test this out. Got the threads cut, however, they look slightly weird for some odd reason, but the only thing we can really do is just finish machining it and then check it out. I mean, this thing did a pretty good job. It looks looks good, but it just look there's like a flat still on it. it. I don't know. It just looks odd if you can if you can really look at it. We'll finish her up and see what, see what we come out with. Now I need to do a radius right here on the inside that just helps for better oil flow. So that was stupid. Uh, I went down a depth of or maximum step down of 0.1 inches so that's a lot for something I want to be conservative on. So now we're going a lot less. 50,000 step down and we slowed the feed rate way down. So really not too bad there. That looks halfway decent. We'll give it a try and anyway. we'll, we'll send her a little bit deeper and then see what we come up with. Might be a little bit better if I had a carbide one of those, but these things are expensive as it is already. And this is an El Cheapo, but pretty sweet. Now I'm going to flip this thing over. So that was very eventful. I'm going to flip it over and do the other side, mill the outside of it, uh, get it down to three quarters of an inch around, and then uh, thread it and finish the inside hole, finish going all the way through. So this is pretty, really a pretty exciting project here. So this is what we come up with after. This is absolutely amazing. I am definitely very proud of this project here. Added a big chamfer right there as you can see. And this should thread into the block on the big side and then the oil filter comes in on the small side. So I'm definitely excited to try this out. I don't even care if this thing doesn't work. I, I'm just very proud of this project and how it really turned, up, turned out even though I burned up a 3 8 inch end mill. Not a huge deal though. It was this was just so fun to try this out for the first time and make it from this huge piece. I mean it's absolutely amazing. Thank you guys for watching this awesome project and uh, if you will go down and subscribe and catch you later.